two men vandalized a portrait of South African President Jacob Zuma with his genitals exposed on Tuesday, intensifying a heated debate about the picture that has enraged the ruling African National Congress. Television footage showed a white middle-aged man in a suit walking up to the portrait at a Johannesburg gallery and painting a red cross on the president's face and private parts. A younger black man then smeared black paint over the picture while the first man was taken into custody by security guards. The picture of Zuma, called the Spear, is reminiscent of a famous poster of communist revolutionary Vladimir Lenin and is part of a wider exhibition addressing the perception of endemic corruption in Nelson Mandela's former liberation movement. In the red, black, and yellow painting, the president is shown striking Lenin's heroic stance, but with his privates hanging out of his trousers. The artist, Brett Murray, is well known in South Africa for his work criticizing the white minority apartheid government that ended in 1994. Zuma's African National Congress Party had already launched a legal bid to try to force the Goodman Gallery to remove the picture, which it described as crude and racist. Minutes before the attack, ANC Security General said people had a right to criticize the government, but there were limits. The Nita was hanging there is not a debate, it's an insult. That's my starting point, and that's where I stop. Uh, it's very bad, because uh, we have young children, they see that, and then they will never respect him again. The two men were taken into police custody. Police did not comment on what charges they might face. Marisa Christian, Ivy Times TV.